Welcome back. Ever played telephone as a kid? Well, a group of artists from all over the world are playing telephone, but with art. Their work is now a new exhibit called Circle of Truth. And here to tell us more is Lisa Cosino, former executive director and board member of New Museum Los Gatos. Welcome to Bay Area Focus. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Well, I'm excited you're here because this seems like a brilliant concept. So it started with one painting mm -hmm. and then it went to how 48 many? other artists. Wow. So with the, for a total of 49 artists, and it took nine years to complete this task. So it's been a labor of love, um, and also an exercise on telling the truth and finding truth and whether or not truth exists in a visual form. Well, let's first look at the painting, the original, okay. what it started with. Okay. So we're going to look at that right now. Okay, so here we go. So this painting is by an artist named Shane Gafog, and he was one of the co-creators and co-curators of this exhibit. And what Shane wanted to do, I can tell you a couple things. One is every artist was given a blank canvas that was the exact same size, which is 20 by 20 inches. And they were given the blank canvas along with a painted canvas. And all they were told was respond in paint to the canvas you were given and told that it was about finding truth in a visual form. So Shane decided to paint his version of the um, golden mean, which he felt was a scientific version of truth, undeniable, which is, um, just to step back a little and say the golden mean is a mathematical equation that everything um, comes from. Okay. And so that's what his painting was. It was a painting of the golden mean, the most true thing he could find to paint and represent. Okay, so then the artist got the smaller blank, blank canvas and Along. they painted on that or they added to this painting? That's a great question. They painted on a fresh canvas, completely blank, and they painted in seclusion, and then they packaged up their painting and sent it off to the next artist, who, along with a blank canvas, and they responded to that canvas, just like the game of telephone where you whisper in sure. somebody's ear, and they, they whisper in somebody else's ear, and that happened 49 times. So why did it take nine years? Well, if you can imagine, um, the original idea was that every artist spent two weeks responding to the painting they were given. But in reality, what happens is life gets in the way, and sure. some of the artists also didn't like the paintings they were given, and they had a hard time responding to the paintings they were given. And um, alongside this exhibition is um, essays that were written by uh, the artists that talk about the creative process. So the exhibit really works on two levels. One is you can look at it visually and say, that's so interesting how um, and what somebody determined was a visual truth. Mm -hmm. And then you can read the essays and understand the creative process of how artists create and how they respond. So nine years instead of what they thought was going to be like about nine months. Sure. So, okay, so we want to see the second one. Okay. Uh, this is the... So this is the final painting. Okay. And, and this painting is by um, a very well-known uh, California artist named Ed Ruscha. And um, he was given the painting right before his was actually not a painting at all it was a t-shirt that covered the canvas that had words written in, all over it and a lot of them were kind of political in nature mm -hmm. and ed ruche is known in his career for using language and words in his work and so one of the teeny tiny words um, painted on this t-shirt was the word in Mm. And he circled in on that, if you will, and um, painted that much larger, and that's where that painting comes from. And it's really, I think, maybe um, the idea of the circle came through, too, mm -hmm. to him. Mm -hmm. So he was probably thinking about that when he made that painting. Well, it certainly is fascinating. Yeah. Thank you for coming on the show and yeah. telling us about Thank it. You. Good luck with the exhibit. Circle of Truth, it is happening at New Museum Los Gatos, and that will be happening through March 10th. And, of course, for more information, you can go uh, online to numulosgatos.org. Coming up, Rutherford Wines. We'll be right back.